Before carrying out a visual inspection of the machine, the machine needs to be parked on safe and level ground, ensuring you and the surrounding area are safe and away from any other vehicles. Unlock the cab. Ensure the ignition key is removed, the handbrake is fully applied, and the battery isolator key is removed. These checks make sure the machine cannot be started or moved without your knowledge or consent. Starting from the cab, ensure the doors, steps and cab glass are not damaged and that the fuel cap is securely fitted. Check all four tyres for the correct tyre pressure using the supplied tyre pressure gauge. Correct tyre pressures can be easily found on the in-cab charts. Look for any signs of damage to the side walls, such as distortion. Check security of the wheel nuts. Look for cuts or embedded objects in the tread. Remember to also check the inside wall of the tyre. Report any defects. If your machine has stabiliser legs, it's important to check the hoses are free from damage and the pivot pins are secure. Stabiliser legs increase stability of the machine, making it safer to lift to height. Check the boom front sensor if fitted. Check auxiliary hoses are not damaged and are free from leaks. The carriage is the working tool of your load all, and it is critical it is in good working order. Check the carriage locking bars. These hold attachments to the carriage. Check the fork bar locking handles work. These are very important as they lock the fork bar in place, preventing the forks from coming off the carriage. Inspect the forks for damage and wear. While walking around the machine, check for any damage to components, including lights, mirrors, engine cover and base. Any damaged parts should be reported and corrected immediately. Ensure no oil leaks are present on or under the machine. Leaks will show on the ground, but always take time to check the underside of the machine, ensuring belly guards are not damaged. Make sure any defects found during this inspection are reported and corrected. Once you are happy with the machine visual inspection, the next stage is checking fluid levels in the engine bay.